Hi, this is Richard Lee from Cisco Japan. Today I would like to spend some time to explain the AP image pre-download in the Cisco Unified Wireless Network. First, let's take a look at the normal upgrade process. In a normal upgrade, the WLC will first download the image. And after the download, the WLC will reboot itself. And during that time, the AP will go into the rediscovery and rejoin process, depending on the AP mode. After that, the AP will rejoin the controller and it, will re and it will compare the image on itself and the image on the controller and it will download the image from the controller. Then the AP will reboot and it will go into the rediscovery and the rejoin process again and then it will join the controller and the download the configuration and then it will start to provide the wireless service. During this process, highlighted in this graph in red, uh, is the network outage caused by this upgrade process. Then let's take a look at the AP image pre-download process. In this process, the controller will download the image first. After the controller finished downloading, the AP will pre-download the image from the controller. And during the pre-downloading process, the AP will continue to provide wireless services. And then the controller and the AP will reboot together. And the AP will rediscover and rejoin the controller. After that, the AP will download the configuration from the controller and start to provide the wireless service again. So as you can see from this comparison, the AP pre-image download can minimize a network outage during the upgrade. Now let's take a look at how to configure this uh, AP image pre-download. First, to click the commands and click the config boot. It will show you the image on this controller both the primary image and the backup image. And also you can change the uh, boot up image with this uh, drop down menu. Then let's download the, the latest uh, controller image from the TFTP. Press download. This uh, downloading process will take a while. When the download finish, a message will show up to, to reboot the controller. Also, at the same time, uh, there will be a message telling you that the pre-download can help you to reduce the network downtime. This time let's do this uh, pre-download. Before we do the pre-downloading, let's uh, check the boot image on the controller first. Click Config Boot. And as we can see now, uh, the image, the primary image has been changed to this uh, newly downloaded 7.2 image. Click Wireless and check the image on the on the access point. Click the access point. We can see the primary image is still 7.1 and the backup is 7.0. Click advanced and click download backup. We can see with backup it means the backup image on the controller. So we'll start download 7.1. Now this time let's do this uh, download primary which is a 7.2 image on the controller which is currently the primary image on the controller. Let's click the access point again and check out the pre-download status. As we can see, the pre-download status is pre-downloading and the pre-download version is 7.2. During the pre-downloading, the LED on the access point will blink in blue. Know that the AP is still provide wireless access. After a while, this uh, pre-download will finish and uh, we can see the backup software version now on the AP is 7.2 and the pre-download status is complete. Now let's do the advanced and uh, interchange the image on the access point. It will tell you that uh, the image on the access point has been changed. Now we can see the primary image, the primary software version on the access point is 7.2 and the backup is 7.1. Before we reboot the AP and the controller, we need to make sure that both boot up with the same image. The default image on the controller should match the primary image on the AP. Then let's schedule a reboot. 
With this schedule feature, we can actually configure the controller to reboot at a specific time. In this example, let's reboot this controller at 2012, uh, May 16, during the night time. Let's say midnight 0045. Since we reboot this controller at the midnight, uh, we can assume that uh, there will be no user on this network. So it can also help you to limit the impact caused by this uh, upgrade process. Save and reboot. And there will be a message showing you that uh, this controller will be rebooting at uh, the specific time you configured. Now we're looking at the console on this controller and we can see it's already 0045. Soon this controller will start to reboot. As we can see the controller has started rebooting itself. After a while the controller will boot up then let's check the image on the controller. As we can see now the active image on this controller is 72. Also we can see the AP has already joined the controller and it's running 7.2 without going through the download process. So this is a very simple example of uh, the AP image pre-download. Thank you for watching this video.